welcome back to Dark Souls 2 lore through. I am uh, continuing my way through the Forest of Fallen Giants. Oh, come on. Um, and let us effigy up here. I guess we'll just I'll rest here. Suppose there's all these guys over here. Interested as to why those things are here. Just because. Ugh. Huh. So after the uh, pursuer, then we get these guys, eh? Oh, <laughs> there's the Estes Flash Shard. They just decided to put it right out in the open. Ah, I see. So that's where that is. Why? Was this always like this? I feel like it wasn't. I don't know. I'm like talking in my head, not explaining what I mean. Doesn't matter. All right, well, let us go and buy a bunch of stuff from Malentia here. Because we're going to need this. And... Uh, oh, I don't want those yet. Yeah, I don't really need anything besides that key. I don't, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I'll buy the Ferris later. pairing things gonna go here Halberd and spear guys are always really hard for me anyway okay well none of those parries worked out at all. guy is. Is there any other guys left in here? I guess a bunch did come out. Okay. Get a blue wooden shield. And the great soul arrow just sitting on the ground here, which is weird. 
Inferior to metal shields in terms of stability and physical damage reduction, but easy to use and weighing so little that it can hardly require any strength to bear. More powerful and effective at damaging enemies, the strength of the spell is influenced by one's intelligence. There's certainly a lot of items like in Dark Souls 1 that are just not that interesting. Okay, so in the original game this was trapped. And it still is. Get a Titanite shard, and I really want that for his lockstone. For this little contraption over here. And yeah, in the old game you'd hit that, and then they would come out. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I'd just try again. Ugh, oh, another spear guy. I hate spear guys. Alright, let's at least try to... Here. I do like how that is another critical hit you can get in these games. Wow, it's so dark in here. I guess I should have checked if that were a mimic. Pharaoh's Lockstone. Life ring, large titanite shard. Oh yeah, I should be wearing rings, huh? So yeah, both of these raise your uh, maximum HP. An old ring set with a red jewel. Each ring has a different power, and even very modest rings can great can be a great boon on a perilous journey. Ring of the Way of Blue Covenant increases HP slightly. The Way of Blue is not a developed religion. It is a humble p prayer that spread naturally among those seeking help. When apostles of blue are invaded by dark spirits, they can receive assistance from masters of other worlds. So, I guess we will don a slight amount of HP addition. Alright. Oh. Somehow that already blew up. Um, I guess I'll go over here to uh, Wing Spear. Oh, I guess there might not be an old iron thing. Just getting used to it, just getting used to it. Don't mind me. Okay, these guys are attacking the tree. And when I go to examine, nothing happens. But I really wanted to pick up this item. if there's anyone over here. Um, well. There you go. Well, there's a third guy in here, usually. Uh, 
Um, okay. Well, this is a little weird jump. Oop! I just, uh, I choked on that. Mailbreaker and infantry helm. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. A slightly stubby thrusting sword is a sharp, sturdy blade. The mailbreaker has limited reach, but effective critical attack, effective against foes donning thick armor, can shield pierce with its strong attack. And helmet war by drag like infantry. Um huh. I'm going to try to get that item again because I think it's a, well I don't know what it is. In the old game it was a, I don't remember. probably has the most amazing lore on it. This is our version of Patches in this game. I would say he's not a good Patches. <laughs> Yet another example of how Dark Souls 2 has shitty um, NPCs. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Mm -hmm. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Mm. Oh, yes. You be cautious if you go any farther. There's treasure in there for certain. But the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier, and it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. He says that, but he doesn't ever give you a ring or anything, or even drop a ring, or... I don't know if that's cut content or not. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. Yeah, so, I mean, he's trying to trap us just like Pate did. All he does it... or Patches, but he doesn't do it as directly as Patches did. I'll leave did. this one to you. Alright, let's see what the enemy configuration is in here. He didn't move. Might not be his fault. Oh my goodness. I wanted this. Okay. Oops. I keep forgetting I just switched my thing, so I'm just trying to get used to my sorcery in my left, my weapon in my right. Yeah, the textures in this game in general are not very good. Now we saw a tree that looked like, you know, like it, there, it was like a giant like thing and then there's these regular trees in here. It is interesting that they're growing in the courtyard. Hi. Surprise. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> no one here. Aromatic ooze. Mysterious sticky substance radiates pale white light. Apply magic to right hand weapon. The affected weapon inflicts magic damage for a short time, particularly effective against heavily armored foes or with thick scales. There's a uh, secret door, yeah, okay. We might even do more than one. Oh, I should be checking if everything's a mimic. Especially these metal ones. Sorcerer's Staff and an Amber Herb. Is that the exact same one that I have? Yeah. So one of these was as well. Just remember remembering incorrectly. What was that? Was it oh Whenever you enter a new area, the bodies like drop where they. What's up, Pate? I survived, idiot. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. Hmm. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. I wonder if uh, in New Game Plus there's an invader, like a red phantom there. Oh, but you should take this. It allows undead to call out for help to one another across the fissures between worlds. With luck, somebody will lend you a hand. Well, I hope Um... Yeah, so I mean, like, Solaire was the one who introduced the original white sign soapstone. This kind of has less impact, admittedly. Be summoned as a phantom to another world in order to help the world's master for a certain time. You'll be rewarded with a token of fidelity for assisting another player. Is that true? The flow of time is distorted in these lands, and the white soapstone allows undead to assist one another. So, yeah, it's weird that, like, Patches essentially. Um, you know, gives you that. I just need 200 souls. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but I mean, that's just nostalgia. Yeah, you know, it doesn't really matter much to the actual game, I don't think. I won't. Oops, that's not what I meant. I want this. Probably best bet on souls or on levels, but yeah. Now that I can wield a weapon, I'm good. That's all I really wanted. Alright, so these things that you put the Pharaoh's lockstone in are very interesting, just in terms of the, the context of the universe of the game. So you have this little mouth, and you put something in its face. It does some mechanical thing, and then it almost has like a magic thing going on. And it's like proper illusion because like this frame didn't even appear before. Okay. Now this was a Titanite slab in the first game. Uh, and the Chloranthi ring. The ring is named for the, its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. So yeah, there's a congruency there with the green blossom and the chloranthi ring both raise your stamina speed. <laughs> Still a titanite slab. 
<laughs> okay. Dynite's lab used to reinforce equipment up to plus 10. There's no plus 15 in this game. Titanite was discovered in an ancient layer on the Earth, said to be a gift of the gods, one of the original slabs that provided the world with all forms of Titanite. Titanite slabs were, were created to smith the weapons of the gods, or so the legend says. Yeah, well. There, we just get the max upgrade material in the first level of this game. That's your first indication that this is a little bit of a different game. You know, I don't know how much... Ugh, I can't leave that item. <laughs> One more attempt. Um, I don't know. I don't know who was in charge of placing items in this game, or if it was just one of those things. But they were so lore-driven before. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. I don't care what that is. Unless they replaced it with something really crazy. Okay, let's see how does this work. He like kind of gets spawned and then have the option to fight me or the tree. Huh. It's weird. It's like I gotta fight that tree. Well, I mean, there's no big mystery here. So, or I guess I should say, like, there's no reason to wait. To explain. I mean, so these are to the giants, which now have trees growing out of them. By the way, the image of a giant depicted as a tree, that is, even without the tree growing out of it, it looks like a tree, is just awesome. I love it. I love the image. It's just a... It's... I don't know. But, um, we got the halberd here. Probably doesn't have anything. The Albert challenges warrior skills. Yeah, it seems very similar to the last one. I hate listening to all the bodies fall each time because it sounds like some big enemy is like stepping. Okay, I think I'm gonna probably not read the hollow soldier stuff. Yeah, no, we kind of read it. Okay. They're just handing it out. Okay, do these guys come down? Oh, there's a lot of them. Damn. Glad I didn't just haphazardly go. Thinking I could get through that easily. There's probably another batch. Halberd and the Soul and Namor Soldier. Yeah, so this is cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure, so I guess I am sure. Um, there was. I guess two of these large. Is anyone coming? Um, 
there's two of these large statues guarding the fortress which bear an image of maybe Vendrick but we can see that this guy's head is cut off and this guy's arm is cut off so his arm dropped here and the sword somehow got tilted up and you know lodged into the fortress itself and then the head we actually see right here um, which we'll run across later this is pretty cool but I love how it just come, you know, just hits into the ground there and that's locked okay is this guy really excited about a tree? There is a tree closer to him up there. Oops. Alright. Didn't want him sneaking up on me. No crystal lizard. Large leather shield. Fury to metal shields in terms of stability, physical damage. Yeah, we read a similar shield. Now we're back in this area. And just because, I'm going to go and uh, rest to the bonfire so we get all of our spells and all of our Estus and all of that. Um, I think we'll probably go with life gems. Let's go down this elevator that looks very similar to the one in Firelink Shrine, the Undead Parish. Or the Undead Church, I suppose. Okay. There's another door. That's locked. Uh, there's two people, Pate and Selsor Loot. Hmm. I don't know. I'm at 28% burden. What the? Um, what else? I'm definitely going to put on more stuff because, I mean, why not? stamina recovers slower but I don't oh wow he's one of the he fights with two shields definitely got to get both these guys we're gonna summon pretty much everyone and try to get them to survive so yeah you can see here that mild matter pay he definitely has like a patches quality to him in terms of his his um, equipment Looks like the cell cell sword Lewitt. It's got he's got the um, Gower's ring, which prevents backstabs. All right. So there's a pretty large um, giant down in this area, and when he sees us, he gets particularly affected by it. 
which I'll talk about later. But he like rips his arms out of where they're stuck. Makes you think, why didn't he just do this, you know, hundreds of years before, but... And he's got that thing wedged in between him. He's big. Oops. Think about the fact that this would be quite crowded here. And he's <laughs> he's got a lot of health now. Um let's try some sorceries, see if this does anything. Stop going for me. I love how he's got all the swords in his back. He rips off his own arm. storyline. Oh, come on, ADP. That's silly. <laughs> so I'll sort of loot the thing. So yeah, soul of the last giant and the soldier key. We didn't read another key too, so let's look at. We did this one, yep. Key of the abandoned house in Majula received from Kale, the cartographer. In the past, Majula served as a dumping ground for horrible things, but is now a gathering place for those with no better place to go. It seems this house in Majula was the final home for a few such souls. So that, I find that line really interesting because we do find some very interesting uh, items in there, and I feel like some. Probably, possibly some of the characters of the story lived in that house during ser certain periods of their time. Key to the soldier's door in the forest of fallen giants. A fort was erected in the forest to face the giants. Okay, so it was created for this war. And now the soldiers are lost and hollowed. They are enfeebled, but not without honor, and continue to steadfastly defend their country, as we see when they hit those... Uh, trees that still look like giants. Okay, I think we're all good here, and the only thing we have here is this. Soul of the surviving giant who was bound below the forest of the giants. The lord of the giants who had brought rack and ruin to the entire kingdom was said to have been felled by an unknown warrior. He, his beaten and broken remains were then dragged beneath the stronghold where he was sealed away. Use the special soul to uh, get no more souls or create something of great worth. So yeah. So the, the Lord of the Giants was filled by an unknown warrior, eh? Interesting. So obviously this key opens this door right here. Oh, oh. Okay. 
Nope, nope, nope. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go back to, um... I'm gonna go back to Majula and take care of everything there before we call it a, an episode. But we can now get into all those areas. In fact, since, I mean, I guess we'll go here much later in the game, but you know, why not? Am I somehow more powerful? in the store and there was nothing in here when I played the first game. There was on New Game Plus. Okay, so ooh, the Grand Lance. Oh, there's a Cyan Knight guarding the door. Okay. Um let's open this first. Amber herb. Okay, so let's look at the Great Lance. A lance fashioned from rare guy steel, designed for high ranking Dranglaic knights, hence the decorative design. Guy steel equipment is the finest make, but guy steel is so rare that very few of these weapons are actually used in combat. Well, I'm not going to face off against the Cyan Knight here. I mean, unless we got some of his armor, but we'll get plenty of his armor later. Uh, but because we cannot get through that door, so um, we'll get to there when we get there. Uh, in the last game, when you walked up to it, it said, Produce the symbol of the king. This gets the Ring of Restoration and the Torch, which I will just go ahead and equip, because why not? A protective ring passed down in House Austeria. Gradually restore HP. In the sacred land of Lindelt, this ring symbolizes prosperity and longevity to the great House Austeria, but the ring is fragile and breaks easily, as if it hates being taken for granted. Was Lindelt the one that... Oh, Lanifer. So Lindelt's a new town. Um... We'll learn, we'll learn more about Lindelt. It's kind of where miracles live right now. But uh, we also now know about the house hysteria. Um, what time is it? Okay. Um, I mean, because another thing we could do is go through this door. Um, and then obviously on to the pursuer. But I think I'll just save all of that for another time once we come back here because we don't need to come here. Is there anything you need to say? Okay, hopefully you do come this time. Hopefully 5,000 is enough to justify you moving. Because you're very useful in Medulla. There you are. Let's go talk to you first. Oh, you again? Go on. It's on the cheap for you. Thank you so much, Melancha. <laughs> She's very excited. So, we have some of this stuff here. Same here. Yeah, so this is Lanifer, not Lindelt. I got mistaken. And now she sells infinite life gems, which is what I will be doing everyone's so stingy around here everyone's so stingy everywhere you're my only customer don't make me beg now buy something oh don't worry I'll keep you in business we call this place Majula not too special if you ask me it's just the place where everyone seems to end up. <laughs> Hilarious. 
Um, okay. Everyone's so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Lowly times, these are. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, let's check in with our friend Moglin. See if he has anything new to say or do. Oh, this is where we got the Titan chart from earlier. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope you find something of use. <sighs> yeah, okay. Um. Well, I, I. Yeah, don't worry, you'll see me again. He kind of stands in for. Uh, oh! He kind of stands in for. Uh, Domino. Alright, let's go in here. So, the first thing that I see here is that someone here is doing a lot of reading, and this person was reading these huge texts. It almost makes me feel like maybe they were big themselves, or a giant wrote these books, or something. But to me, this doesn't seem like what Kale is trying to do. I mean, this almost looks like, you know, like, a regal archive situation or a sorcery situation. It's certainly visually interesting, but I just wonder how many people have stayed here during the course of this game. Especially since we have a Furrow's Lockstone in here from this guy that's just sitting here. He was a traveler. Uh, and then we can see the pigs here a little bit better. They look like they're really far away, and... Like, in a chasm somewhere, but those are, like, right across this way, and they're just small pigs. Seems like the space in this place is not being used to its fullest. So yeah, you can see here that... Oh, they're coming for me. More torches. That's what we need. Let's go down and see this map that Kyo was talking so much about. I guess that's this way. Now I will say that um, it certainly is a strange map, but I don't know if it's as strange as uh, you know Kyo was going on to make it seem. Uh, this uh, I'm not actually sure about this. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the 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 last giant that we just fought that's burning there. Could be that, or it could be the far fire. For what I remember, this lights up only when you beat the the giant, and then obviously as you continue to uh, beat bosses, the with the the ancient the old ones, those will light up here as well. So got some uh, chests and armor stands. Looks like this uh, was cr crumbling away and someone put up a uh, structure here, but this is the place where Kale was like, don't go down there. He heard some things. Well, it's just a skeleton. Oh, nice. I didn't kill him. They always drop a human effigy. Every time. I know these items switched around a lot. That's the slash shard, that's nice. And this used to be a soul vessel, but I think it says katana now. Okay. Or maybe it was the other way around. 
The other thing is that the original Dark Souls 2 has been patched, so I don't remember. But it, it is in this really interesting chest. I think this is the only one like it in the game. And when it was a katana, it, it made me think that it was like from an eastern land or whatever, with a garish design on it. Um, and I like me a katana, so... Maybe I'll dual wield katanas this playthrough. Um, Shell Quire doesn't say anything new for basically the whole game. I'm a blacksmith. Alright, let's pick up this bow. Short bow. Uh, equip to, okay, yeah, just tells you how to use it. Some cool equipment on the tables here. He was already working on a sword. Why did, why did Malentia close this all up? It was clearly being used. Ah, yes, very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. Sounds good, Leningrast. Ah, yes. All right. And, um, uh, he never says anything new, and no one ever says anything new, unfortunately, and things don't really move once you get people here, but getting people here is certainly fun. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I always thought that that was another level, the Iron Keep, because there's a big, in the distance I'm looking, but I guess that's the, uh, those are the big guys. That so that's the I guess when we go through there and travel, whatever, that's where we go. And that's like the fortress essentially that they fought. Oh, and that's okay, I see where everything is. So, huh, interesting. Is that a shard you found? Yes. Two. Here. Let yeah, me yeah, to yeah. see light. However, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we get three? On well, the off chance that we got three. Oops. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's level up. And... Hmm, what do we want? Oh, yeah, we just want ADP for now. Just so we can roll a little bit more. I mean, I do pretty alright, but it'll just be nice. Uh, and then, uh, as per usual, every time, every time we're done with stuff, I just buy as many of these as we can. Thank you, kind. All right. Well, we're setting ourselves up quite well. Um. um uh, we gotta, okay, if we rest at the fire, oh, I should have, okay, but we do have some souls. Um, because, yeah, we should, oh, and we have some new items, which we didn't read. Uh, I guess just this. A vessel that will accept your souls, it can allow real allocation of levels. But without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of souls. If you wish to start again, go to a place where your journey began. So yeah, you can give them to the firekeeper and the things betwixt. And I keep saying I'm going to sit down, and I don't. Okay. You, stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast, just a simple blacksmith. And you are... Oh, ah, another useless traveler. Mm. A man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Is that so? Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, 
show me what you've got. Your equipment. Let me have a look. But do it quick. We'll do that in a second. I want to talk to you. Drat. <laughs> You're worse than my reckless daughter. Mm. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear? We do meet his daughter, and she is a traveler, so I guess it makes sense that he's, uh... It's a little bit uh, sensitive <laughs> to travelers, I guess. You'll need souls to repair and improve equipment. I know only of smithing, but souls have many other uses as well. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spend. I'm good. Equipment can be strengthened with rare ore stone. But such ore stone won't come easily. My girl knows her stones, mm. but she's always out prancing about. Now, there's a time for travels, but you can't wander the world forever. He misses his daughter. Even you must have someone waiting back home. Don't worry, Lenny Grast. We'll go grab your daughter, Chloan. Rat. You'll need so Alright, so let's see what he's got. He's got some good stuff. Fashion rapier. I'm trying to feel like if I should go with one of these. Let's read them at least. This straight sword is sufficient in most respects. This is essentially what we have. It's just we have a fire ascended one. Same description. Each slash of this curved sword does less damage than a straight sword, but can deal a series of hits in flowing succession. And it does bleeding. That might be nice to get. S-Stock. A sturdy, slender long blade is designed to pierce armor of enemies. Okay. Thrusting swords are light swords with fine tips. Use quick thrust to damage hard skin foes. This is one that people use a lot for speedruns, so... Makes me think like it could be good. Battle Axe. Mace. Spear. These don't have a ton of lore on them. No lore on these either. Okay. He's got repair powder, and he does have these. Because uh, if I just upgrade my fire longsword, you know. That might be good for the time being, but I will need to get enough Titanite to actually start leveling up something seriously. Because I don't really want to do a Rapier build. Or Falchion build. So I'm just gonna... Upgrade this. Okay. Wait! I have three Titanite shard? I mean, I essentially had six? When did that happen? Did I miss something? So I just need a few more souls? I'll be around. What the? Um. Okay. Well, let's. Before we. You know. Just because might as well see this part. I can just cut it, but I'm going to go grab something and then come back and level up more. This guy should be enough, eh? Hey? <sighs> 750. And he gives me a firebomb at that. Nice. Blade. 
That's nice. Well, there you go. And I have alert. What? I'll be around if you. Did I? What? <laughs> I'm really confused. I guess I got that from a, from a. Wow. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we'll level that up too very quickly. Um. But um. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, Dark Souls lore through. I mean, it's been a little light on the lore, but you know. The game takes a while to get going, and there's some good lore coming up. So uh, for now, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.